Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So on this video we're con continuing the PSA settings that we previously started and we're covering transaction categories, expense categories, fiscal year settings, as well as product catalog items. So let's jump in the system and set up transaction categories first. So we're here on the unified interface. We'll click on the navigation and scroll down to transaction categories. We'll click on new and we'll name this travel as the transaction category is a kind of, you could say it's a superset of expense categories. For the unit group, we'll choose pieces. This is the default unit group in the system. I've renamed, renamed it to pieces. And the default unit is a piece. For billing type, this transaction category is chargeable. Let's click on save and close. And we're all set. Now we can make another transaction category called miscellaneous. That'll give us some flexibility when choosing our transaction categories and when submitting our expenses, etc. These are free unit group of pieces and a default unit of piece as well. And the building type for these is chargeable as well. All right, so we have our transaction categories set up. Next, we'll set up expense categories. So on the navigation, we'll scroll down to expense categories and we'll click on new. For this expense category, we can call this mileage. The expense type is mileage and then the transaction category will be travel. We'll, re we'll leave the receipt required as optional for the sake of this example. Let's click on save and close and then let's make another expense category as well. So for this we'll call miscellaneous for expense type we can choose miscellaneous and for our tra transaction category we'll choose miscellaneous as well for this we'll we'll leave the receipt type required as optional so let's save and close and we have our expense categories set up so the next thing we'll do is we'll set up fiscal year settings and then we'll set up product catalog items. So for the fiscal year settings, we're jumping on the classic client, and navigating to settings and business management. Here on the top left, we have fiscal year settings and opening that up, we can actually see that there is really not too much that we need to change for the fiscal year settings. Our start date is January 1st. For this example, we do want our fiscal year to start in January and end in December. So there's really nothing that we need to change on our fiscal year settings as of now. So those are okay. So the next thing we'll do is we'll set up product catalog items. Now, Product catalog items are pretty much optional from a PSA uh, standpoint because mainly in PSA you're selling resources uh, and, and not so much, perhaps not so much products. But, you know, there are exceptions. If you're in the software business, for example, you might want to sell licenses. So setting up some, some products might be required for you from a business, from your business perspective. So to access our product catalog, we'll click on settings and product catalog. We have our families and products. So we'll click on that. 
let's choose active products. We don't have any in the system because we have a vanilla instance. So let's click on add product to add a single simple, uh, to add a single example product to the system. We'll call this software license. The product ID we can freely choose. For the unit group, we'll choose pieces and our default unit is a piece. For our default price list, we don't really have any price list set at this point, so we can set our price list later and then associate this product with our price list at a later stage. For decimal supported, these are software licenses, so we don't have any decimal support for those, so we'll leave that at zero. And we are all set with our product. This is more of a sales module uh, stuff to to build your to build your products as well as as field service related stuff. Like I said, from a PS, uh, PSA point of view, you know if you have some tangible goods or or software licenses, etc., that you want to sell, you might wanna um, you might wanna create your products. But this is one of those optional settings. If you just sell resources, then products are not required. So now that our software license has been set up, we'll publish the product. And after this, we are all set. All right, so stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.